A lot of other people are watching the skies these days, scientists among them, who say they have made a surprising discovery on a dwarf planet near Pluto. Here's a look. It's a ring around the planet that they say is the most distant ring discovered in our solar system. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizekis is in Montreal. And Andrew, good morning. Tell us more about this ring and why it's such a big deal. Well, this is, as you've said, is the most distant ring uh, um, around a planet discovered in the solar system. Let's uh, put this into context, though. This world is, is, is now classified as a dwarf planet. So it's a, a, mem a, very, a member of a very exclusive club that contains Pluto and, uh, and uh, two other members. And its name is Kumea. It was discovered about a decade ago. And just this uh, year, they were able to pinpoint using uh, some of the largest telescopes in the world uh, to find that it does indeed have a ring. And this planet, this dwarf planet, Kumea, is uh, 49 times farther away from the sun than the Earth is. And uh, it's, it's the first time we've seen a dwarf planet with a ring. So it joins this other very exclusive club of planets that have rings. And so far, we've only found um, uh, major gas giants like Saturn is very well known, Jupiter mm. and Uranus have rings. And so now this very distant little world about the size of Pluto joins this exclusive club of rings. Huh. In the meantime, astronomers are, are mapping what some are calling this dark side of the Milky Way. What are they seeing? Well, this is really our farthest view of the Milky Way. You know, the Earth and the Sun is in the plane of this spiral, uh, spiral structure we call the Milky Way. It's a giant island of over 400 billion stars that we're part of. However, we have no real clear picture of what the entire Milky Way actually looks like. That's because we have this central, very bright area that's in the way from our view of the other side. And so now they've used a very uh, a special technique using uh, all the major radio telescopes around the world to work together to create a single view of the other side of the Milky Way. Mm -hmm. And this is 60,000 light year view from where we are to start mapping it. And they think within the next 10 years, we'll be able to, using this technique, to map the entire structure of our home galaxy for the very first time. Wow. So with this mapping, Andrew, do, do you believe that it's going to change our overall understanding of the universe, potentially even our understanding of our place within it? Definitely. I mean, you know, uh, the Milky Way galaxy is a uh, is just one of over 100 million other galaxies that we can see in the observable universe. And uh, we see other galaxies very clearly, but our own home galaxy has been pretty much invisible to us up until this view, first view uh, of being able to show our uh, uh, this invisible far side of the galaxy. So this is going to allow us to really map the galaxy. And it's kind of like a small step to where we see science fiction, like Star Trek, for instance, where they're actually voyaging in starships on the other side of the galaxy. This is the first initial point of being able to map our own home uh, island we call the Milky Way. <laughs> Thrilling stuff. As always, Andrew. Astronomy columns with National Geographic, Andrew Fazekas. Thanks so much for this as always. Enjoy your Sunday, sir. Clear skies.